Hi, welcome to The Harvest is Ready. Today we're going to use OBS and to create a countdown timer, either to a specific time or just to count down in general. So here we are back on our desk again. Hey, I'm Stephen. I'm from The Harvest is Ready. Now, whether you are a worship leader, a media presenter or general person, um, on this channel, our job is to equip you to be the most you can be in God, whether it's in your media presentation, or your encouragement or worship. I hope to cover all those bases. Anyway, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using OBS to help with your live stream to create a countdown timer before your stream starts. So what you need first is we, we need some resources. We're going to download from here. OK, I've done this already. Um, if we go over to here, you can see what I've got here. Um, you can go to OBS Broadcaster Software and you can download the Advanced Timer. OK, and we did it through on this link over here. Now, OK, let's go to OBS. Now here we've got a new scene. What we're going to do is we're first we're going to create a... Are we on a new scene? No, we need to create a new scene. OK, let's create a new scene, a new collection. We're going to call it uh, timer. OK. And on, these, on this collection, we're going to rename this collection. We're going to call it Background Timer. OK. We've done that. So first of all, what we need is we need to create a background. So we're going to open up a media source. We're going to have a nice little animated background. We're going to call it BG. OK. We're going to find our file. Uh, Aminator and Light Cider, yep, that's the one. And we're going to loop it and we're, so it can go around and around in circles. Okay, here we go. Now we've got a nice little looping background. Now, what we need to add in here now, we need to add a text source. And we're going to call that a header. Okay. And you just fill this out how you would like to fill it out. So I'm just going service. To start in, I uh, don't like this part of it. Get that centered. Okay. Smaller. No, oh, not quite happy with that. That's not quite centered. It's better, and we're going to add another one for the actual timer. So another text source. We're going to call this timer. Okay. So again, we can say start. Okay. Yeah. Now you can set up the time on this particular thing, how you see fit, how, the font, should I say, how you see fit, how you want to actually display it. So that's up to you, how you decorate it, how what fonts you use. You can be creative in that regards. But let's set up the script to get the timer working. So what we go in tools, we've got a, a menu item called scripts. Now there's nothing here. We need to load the script for every scene. So we're going to, what we're going to do is, well, I've already downloaded the scripts, but we can add a script. And we're going to add the advanced timer script. Okay, there is a inbuilt into it. You may see the countdown one, but I prefer the advanced one because it gives you the options to set a time to count down to. So here we've got it here. We've got a countdown timer. We want a specific time. So we're going to start, I'm going to say it's seven o'clock. So that's 1900 hours. And then I'm going to select the, we've got our two things here. So we're going to select timer and it's always active, and then we're gonna start the timer. So there we go. You can see now that this is a countdown script and it's updating the timer. Okay. So then we can lock that into place. So let's lock these all into place. And we've got it there. Okay. Now, how are we gonna use this? 
Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do one more thing. We've got to change the background, and make sure that we can make it transparent, so it's gonna reveal it simply. So we're gonna use a color key, okay? And we're gonna set the color key for custom color. So we're gonna select color, pick screen color, something around there. Go okay. And you can see it's almost ready. So let's do the similarity. We're gonna bring it right up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see how that looks. We can always come back and adjust it if we need to. Looks pretty good now. Okay, we're gonna add a new background, a new, new scene. This is gonna be the service start. Okay. And we're going to put a nice background image in there first. So we're going to open another media source. We're going to put another BG2. Okay. This time we're going to choose a particles one. Okay. We're going to make sure it loops. Remember this one does not show the preview until we exit out of it. So let's try that. There we go. Then we're going to add a scene. We created the background timer scene. So we put that in. And there it appears. Now I'm not quite happy the way that looks, so I'm gonna go back to the background timer and adjust the effects in this one here. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit more opaque. Try that. 60 there close. I think it needs a little bit more color key I think it needs a similarity it needs to be a little bit higher the opacity needs to be a bit strong Hello. yeah that's okay so that that's basically it we have now got a custom scene but look the reason why I did it on a separate scene you can do this what You can move it, oh, not that one. <laughs> you can move it to where you like and change the size. There we go. So we have now a timer that is in OBS, counting down to the time that we start our service. Right, so there we have it. That wasn't too difficult. Download the uh, advanced timer script from OBS, put it into your scripts folder, and create your background scene that you want to as a separate scene, and then you can overlay it in any other scene that you want to have your timer. So, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook. So, until next time, be empowered and God. Please.